Over 300 earthquakes have struck beneath Mount Rainier. 4.4, the biggest recorded earthquake in super, on the super volcano there at Yellowstone National Park. The nightmare begins. Thousands of earthquakes detected beneath Mount Rainier and Yellowstone. A super volcano is imminent from the snow-capped peaks of Washington to the steaming valleys of Wyoming, America's most iconic volcanoes are stirring. In recent weeks, seismic instruments have detected hundreds of earthquakes beneath both Mount Rainier and Yellowstone National Park, two of the most closely monitored volcanic systems on Earth. The ground beneath these landscapes has begun to tremble, not in isolation, but in two different states, nearly a thousand kilometers apart and within the same month. The timing has ignited a storm of speculation. Is this coincidence or the early warning of a brewing geologic chain reaction? Mount Rainier, the restless ice-covered giant, Standing 14,411 feet tall, Mount Rainier dominates the horizon of the Pacific Northwest. But beneath its glacial armor lies a dangerous truth. It is one of the most hazardous volcanoes in the United States. Dot in July 2025, seismologists recorded an earthquake swarm exceeding 1,100 tremors in just a few days, the most intense since 2009. These quakes ranged from barely detectable microtremors to magnitudes of 2.3, still small, but significant in number and frequency. The quakes struck at shallow depths of 2 to 6 kilometers beneath the summit in bursts so frequent that seismograms resembled a constant hum. Scientists from the USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory believe the swarm is hydrothermal in origin, caused by superheated water and steam circulating under pressure, shifting faults and fractures in the rock dot. This is important because water-driven. Swarms differ from magma-driven swarms. Hydrothermal swarms rarely signal imminent eruption, yet they do reveal that the volcano's internal plumbing is active, hot, pressurized, and dynamic. Rainier's true danger lies not only in ash and lava, but in lahars, torrents of volcanic mud that could thunder down its valleys at highway speeds, burying entire communities. Even a small eruption could trigger such a disaster. That's why, for scientists, every tremor under Rainier is logged, analyzed, and cross-checked with ground deformation and gas emission data. Yellowstone, the supervolcano that breeds in. Far away, in Wyoming, another sleeping giant sits atop a colossal underground reservoir of magma. Yellowstone's caldera, the scar of a cataclysmic eruption 640,000 years ago, is 30 by 45 miles across, large enough to swallow an entire city. Each year, Yellowstone experiences between 1,500 and 3,000 earthquakes, most as small for visitors. To notice, but in early 2025, Sensors detected an above-average cluster of small quakes beneath the park's western caldera rim. Like Rainier's tremors, these swarms appear to be linked to shifting hydrothermal fluids rather than a fresh influx of magma. Despite sensational headlines, Yellowstone scientists stress that these swarms are normal, part of the constant. Adjustment of Earth's crust above a vast, pressurized system of heat and water. 
However, because Yellowstone is a supervolcano, any unusual activity draws global attention. A full-scale eruption here could eject hundreds of cubic kilometers of ash, disrupt global climate, and change life on Earth. But scientists emphasize that such events are extraordinarily rare, occurring hundreds of thousands of years apart. Are the two events connected? The near-simultaneous swarms at Rainier and Yellowstone have sparked online theories ranging from regional tectonic stress to deep mantle processes linking the two. But according to experts, the systems are independent, separated by different fault zones, different magmatic sources, and different geological histories. What may connect them is the broader geologic reality. The western United States is one of the most seismically and volcanically active regions in the world. Plate boundaries, deep faults, and hot spots all contribute to a restless crust. In such a setting, it's not unusual for multiple volcanic systems to show activity in the same general time frame. Monster volcano or media monster. The term monster. Volcano captures attention, but science tells a more nuanced story. Volcano monitoring involves watching for a combination of warning signs sudden and sustained swarms of quakes increasing in magnitude. Rapid ground uplift measured by GPS and satellites. Significant changes in volcanic gas composition. Increased heat flow or changes in geyser and hot spring activity. Right now, Mount Rainier's earthquakes are small and water-driven. Yellowstone's activity remains within historic norms. There's no indication that either volcano is on the verge of eruption. Why vigilance matters. History has shown that sometimes swarms do precede eruptions, but just as often, they fade without major consequence. The challenge for volcanologists is telling the difference in real time. That's why both Rainier and Yellowstone are under constant surveillance by dense networks of seismometers, GPS units, gas sensors, and thermal cameras. These instruments feed real-time data to scientists who can issue alerts the moment anything changes. In the past, this early warning system has saved lives by giving communities time to prepare. The bigger picture, Earth's crust, is alive with motion. Magma shifts, water circulates, faults slip, and pressure builds, all beneath our feet, usually without us ever noticing. Earthquake swarms like those at Rainier and Yellowstone are part of this natural rhythm, a reminder that the ground we stand on is anything but still. As the sun sets over Rainier's icy slopes and Yellowstone's geysers spray into the sky, the message from scientists is clear. There's no immediate cause for panic, but the giants are never truly asleep. For now, they breathe quietly. Tomorrow, they may stir again. And when they do, the world will be listening.